Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, brought in this elm today, just give a little bit of a pruning back. It's starting to get some long shoots on it. And <clears throat> if we don't keep on top of my pruning with it, you end up with the branches just getting longer and longer and the leaves on the outside, <coughs> excuse me, the leaves on the end just keep getting bigger and bigger. So just to improve the ramification, I'm just going to give it a little bit of prune back just to keep it in check a bit. So we can work on that. And um, I went to a, a little car boot sale just down the road from me this morning. And you never really get bonsai pots or anything like that at them, but I always keep my eyes open for maybe ornaments or little handmade pots of stuff that you could turn into a bonsai pot. So I did pick up two. This was one. This kind of a green dappledy kind of thing. It's got feet on it. I just need to drill a few holes in it. So that was one. And then I got this little handmade tray. Need to put some feet on it. Drill some holes, but it's got some nice colours on it. It's got little hands, but I can just block them up with a bit of mesh when I put something in it. But I thought that was a nice little tray as well. So I think I paid three for this and four for this. So Yoru, so it wasn't too bad. And I just spotted my sign. I still have to put that up, my little metal sign from my gate. So I'm going to put that up on my gate going up into my bonsai area okay so so we'll look at this tree now again this is the one that I thread grafted this branch here close as you can see this branch and I grew long and I brought it round the back and drilled a hole through the trunk here and this is the, the the end of the branch coming out this way so I'm going to let this grow so that I can build another branch down here so it's growing anyway it's got leaves and that so that's good so now I'm just going to go around the tree and make branch like this I'm just going to reduce them back to like you see if you don't you just end up with them growing upwards and they just get untidy and the leaves get bigger and bigger and start shading out the leaves inside so you best to keep on top of them if you can and again always trimming to an outward facing leaf this branch here growing straight up so we'll take that one out altogether There's another one here At the end of the branch I'll take the whole end off Okay, so that branch looks okay. That stub in here will take off. And then this one, we've got two leaves there, one on this side, so we'll take it to that one. That one back. Yeah, I go to as many car boot sales around me as I can. They're only kind of on once a month. You don't really get a ton of bonsai kind of stuff, but I have got the dragon that I got put the the larch on. The root over statue larch. I got that dragon there before, which was good. I got him for five euros. I'm gonna reduce this branch Run back a bit, it's getting a bit long. And this one probably needs to come back, it's getting out of profile a bit. Yeah, I picked up a few pots over the years from car boot sales. Just, I like it when you can get a handmade pot because you know it's, it's kind of an original pot. And you just drill some holes in them. and make nice little unusual pots. Oh, dead branch there, I'll take that one off. And here there's 
a couple of stubs we'll take out. Tree in here, so I'll take him out all together. Have this one here, but I'm going to leave this one. Oh, no, I won't actually. I'll take it back to there. Bring this one out. This one is one I'm going to leave. That's the one that's threaded through the tree, so I'll let that grow and thicken up. So in here now, stub down. Take that out. This branch and take it back to there. I tend to do this quite regularly on these just to keep the leaves small because and to keep them more ramified because otherwise they just tend to get very leggy and you end up with long branches. There's a dead branch in there. Long branches would just leave right up to the end, which you don't want. So I'll just keep them pruned back. Every few weeks I just check them and just keep them tight as I can. Oh, let's keep tight as I can. I do like to send branches growing straight up as well, so I'll keep on top of them. This branch here is coming a bit long, so we're going to take it and take that one right back. Stop in there. long branch here which is crossing over the top of this one so I'll take that one right back out of it. Let's bring the camera up slightly now so you can see a bit better. This branch is growing back in towards the tree so I'll take that one out. And that one maybe. This one right back, and this one. I just keep taking up all the dead stuff from the last time I did it. You can see, like that. Now it just comes to the end. You end up with nothing, and then it starts growing straight up. So I'll take it back to that branch, that leaf there, so that it grows out this way. If you, again, if you don't keep on top of them, you end up with them crossing over each other and all that kind of stuff, so we don't want that. Just one now coming underneath there. Yeah, we we'll take that one right back to there. So again, it's crossing over. one so you get right back let's take the tip off that one dead stuff there gonna be a bit more 
rootless at the top, just let more light in. straight up Have a look at it now and see if uh, there's anything coming out of the profile that needs to be trimmed back a bit. Back seems okay. This one I think we could reduce. We can't because there's no other buds or leaves on this side. That's why I've left that one. view keep on top of it then you normally get them all in the end all the ones that need to be trimmed okay that looks okay to me doesn't look like we're taking off a lot but when you look at the amount of leaves it's quite a few so that's been thinned out quite a bit That now we're just waiting for this branch to grow here, fill out out back here a bit, and then it should be quite a nice shape, I think. This branch here, we can maybe take this one right back. It's just sticking out a bit there out of the profile, that one there. So I'm going to take that one back all together. Bit of liverwort growing again. I think the roots are really gripping the rock well on this. You can see them gripping in tight. You want them nice and tight to the rock. I should have probably lifted this this year. Just didn't get round to it. But it could have been lifted another inch or so in the path and then I could have pinned them 
You see them roots there are just slightly off the rock. You could have pinned them in tighter to the rock. If I'd repotted it, you can see what you want is roots like this one here. I don't know if you can see it. It's coming down, hugging the rock, coming down over the side of the rock tight. It's hit the rock here again and it's come across and then back down. But it's staying right attached to the rock all the way. That's the kind of roots you want. And like this one, it's even swelling where it's bending around the side of the rock. These ones just need to be pinned in, but we'll do that next time. We do a repot on it. Another one underneath here, this one here, it looks good until it gets to here and then it comes away from the rock. But sometimes you just don't get around to doing all of them. Probably could do it even now. You could lift it slightly and just top it underneath, but when I do do the do it, I do want to work on the roots a little bit to get them closer. So I don't want to do too much root work now this time of the year. So I think I'll just leave it for another season and do it next year. See all this can be dug out now. All this old soil under here. And we can push them roots then tight into that gap there. When we do do the repot, there's a root here. I don't know where it's come from. Is it coming from this branch and going round and up underneath here? Or is it coming from under there and coming up and round there? But again, that needs sauce now, but can't do it now. But it's coming along, it's looking starting to look good. It was just a little tree I collected on the side of the road. Basically a little whip of a thing, so I just planted it on this and got the roots tight to it, tied them on with a bit of tape, wrapped them around tight, buried it and then lifted it out then. Maybe two years ago I think leaving the soil and stuff up here and the moss and then eventually then I just kept picking away at it, taking it bit by bit away and now it's sitting flat to the rock we just need to do a bit of work on I don't know, it's kind of off the rock here, I thought that was rock underneath there but it's actually packed in with soil but we can work on that when we do a repot Maybe we can show a piece of this stone in underneath here to fill that gap. We'll have a look when we're doing a repot on it. Okay, but for now, that will just give it a little trim. And keep it, keep on top of it. This branch is growing good, so hopefully we'll get that growing out. Okay, so that's it for this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, any comments or anything. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.